Here is a complete design example, worked through start to finish, to demonstrate the design process. To start the design, open the program and select Create a New Project. Save as Example 10. Enter the project details. Now you have to import the CAD plan. Go to Start, then Import Drawing. Navigate to the plan drawing location and then Open. Select Model Space, then Import. To create a room, ensure that CAD Snap is switched on. Click the Design ribbon, then click on Locate Room. Click on the Room Vertices, then right click to finish. Name the room Interior Office and adjust the room height to 2.3 meters. To adjust the measuring grids, click on the grid and the grid info panel appears on the right. Adjust the grid point spacing to 0.5 meters and the exclusion zone to the same. Adjust the full elevation to 0.8 meters. Lock the grid and switch off the essential lighting mode as it's not used in this example. To import luminaires for use, click on the home ribbon. Click on define, then select luminaires. Type in the luminaire code into the keyword box. And insert the standard and the emergency version. Now, set details for both to adjust to 2.3 meters mounting height and switch off essential modes. Change the icon colors to be the same in both full and escape modes. Turn the view to icon luminaires. Turn snap on and set to 0 0.1 meters. Turn calculation to manual. Select a luminaire and click locate luminaire. Place the luminaires into position. Then swap to the other luminaire and place those to complete the scheme. Calculate the design, turn the calculation to automatic. Click on overview to view the results. Click into escape mode to check the escape results. And then back to full mode. The design is now complete. So to print to a PDF document, zoom the design window to the extent of the room. Click start, then select print. Select cover page, contents, air reports, plan view, lighting key, Results Summary and Results Table. Deselect the Essential Power Mode as we haven't calculated that here. Then in the Zoom select As Shown in Tab and then click OK. Click the Export button. Then navigate to the Project Folder and type the design name and save. Now close the report window. To export the design to a CAD file, 
Switch firstly to full power mode. Click start, then select export drawing. Select the drawing border size from the drop down list. Then click OK. Navigate to the project folder and type in the design name adding full or normal to the file name extension. Select the file type as ACAD 2007 and save. Switch to escape power mode. Click start, export drawing, select the paper size and now type in the file name with escape as the extension and then save. And there we have a completed design. Start to finish hitting save and closing the program.